right, welcome back. So now we're going to be doing the installation. And we've already done the unboxing, so we're gonna try to do this pretty quick. It's still pretty light out. Got about an hour before it starts getting too, too dark uh, to be able to work and do things out here. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. All right, so as you can see, there's the uh, attachment that will be going into our mount. Looks like we've got a couple set screws down in here. See if we can get in on that. So you can see a set screw right there. Looks like we can uh, use the Allen key that came with it. So let's, let me get over here. Try to work a little bit better. Pop this cover off. All right, now that that's, the adapter has been installed, fit pretty nicely, took a couple turns. Um, basically, just compresses in there with the two set screws. Feels pretty solid. Uh, if you noticed in the uh, earlier video, there was a little V shape on the inside. That allows you to look through, even if you still had the po a polar scoop back here, as well as, uh, I. I I don't know really why, but uh, you know, I tried to keep it in line with the uh, center of this axis here. Um, comes with a nice little cover in case you were going to uh, not be installing the uh, uh, ah, there we go. So this adapter plate goes to the uh, excuse me this adapter plate here goes to the uh, the camera it's got the three screws so it'll mount direct to this so if you did want to uh, to take the camera off for any reason uh, transportation in the back of your car or whatever you do have this nice metal cover that you can uh, can clamp down on uh, since I will probably be doing most of my imaging here at the house uh, I don't think I'll be needing that um, anytime soon so let's get let's get to the pole master itself now I was a little disappointed um, that there wasn't a manual in the box um, I thought maybe the, the green card you know, it was just a simple little, you know, do this, do that with a couple pictures. Um, but as you can see, it's just a card pointing to website, uh, a couple websites, installation manual, drivers, uh, software, FAQs. So uh, definitely had to go there and make sure I read through everything so that I would know what I was going to be doing tonight, as well as download the software. Uh, the manual was a little, a little tough to read, um, you know, it, it, there were some grammatical errors, uh, needed some proofreading, uh, you know, don't want to be a grammar Nazi or nothing, just, uh, uh, you know, uh, hey, if you got somebody on staff that can proofread that, uh, please do so, um, but it is what it is, we get what we get. So. There's the camera we showed you during the unboxing. And the series of screws and a little lanyard. I'm not going to be attaching the lanyard. I'll just be attaching the camera to the adapter plate. Now that's a little odd. 
Not exactly sure why. Let me look over here. Okay. So it comes with an even smaller. Let's see if we can zoom in on that here. It comes with an even smaller. Yeah, can't zoom in on it. Um, basically, a really small Allen wrench right there. There we go. Really small. I'm not seeing any part of the camera that would require it. And the heads to the mount screws are small Phillips. So, uh, not sure why that Allen wrench is there. But, so I've taken the plate off. Just have to line up the holes. All we gotta do is take the adapter plate, line up the holes that are up here. You probably can't see it in the video. But there's a couple little holes three of them along there correspond to these three holes here these are already threaded to accept the little screws here so we will go ahead and drop these screws in now it does come with the cable I'm gonna come back and uh, tighten these screws up but the manual says to mount the USB connection facing to the left, the left over here, as you're looking at the camera. So I'm facing the camera, left is over here, right is over here. So it says to mount it that way, the USB connection over there. Another video I saw, the guy mentioned putting it over on this side. Could be an older version. I also believe that was a RS-232 can or yeah, uh, a DB9 connection. Excuse me, as opposed to the USB. Uh, so I'm not too sure. I'm going to go with what the manual says, and we'll figure it out from there. So for now, I'm just going to tighten this down. It does have a nice little cover on here, metallic. Screws off, but we're going to leave that on for now. I'm going to go get a screwdriver, tighten these down, hook up my USB cable, and uh, when I'm back, we'll be uh, darker skies hopefully, and uh, on the laptop. See you in a minute. 